Hello, welcome to Brew With Me. For the daily brew number three, you'll be using a dark roast bean to create a delicious pour over in just a few minutes. To begin, turn your kettle to 88 degrees Celsius. Once your kettle temperature is set, it is time to tear your scale and measure out 13 grams of beans. Now, add those beans to your grinder and grind to a pretty fine consistency. Here is an example of my grind size. As you can see, it's probably the similar size to table salt for sugar. Place your cup and pour over device onto your scale. Today I'm using the Hario V60 ceramic. Grab your Hario V60 paper filter and fold it at the seam like I am doing in the video. Once you have a well-defined seam, it is time to place that filter into your Hario V60. It is time to rinse your paper filter with the hot water from the kettle. This is in order to get rid of all the paper flavor from your coffee. Let all of the hot water drain through the paper filter into the cup and make sure you discard all of the water that now is in the cup. Once you have discarded the water, it is time to pour your coffee grains into the filter and give it a little shake to even out the bed. To start brewing, start your timer and pour about 60 grams of water evenly across the bed inside of the Hario V60. If your coffee starts to bubble, this is correct and it means that your coffee is blooming. Once your timer reaches anywhere between 30 to 45 seconds, it is time to pour the next 100 grams of water. Make sure as you pour, you are slowly moving your kettle in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction, spreading the water evenly across all of the grounds. If done correctly, this pour should take anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds. At 1 minute and 30 seconds, or after 30 to 45 seconds after your previous pour, it is time to pick up your kettle for the last time and pour until you reach 225 grams of water or coffee inside of your cup. Allow about 30 or 40% of it to drain, and then gently swirl your Hario. Now in the end, all you have to do is wait for the final drops to drop through, and you can finally enjoy your delicious cup of coffee. Thank you very much for watching Brew With Me. Please let me know what you think about the brew in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.